real estate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So here's my thing with real estate. A lot of people want to buy a house and then they want to run and pay off the mortgage. They want to be debt free. They don't want to own nobody, nothing. They want to run and pay off the mortgage. What do you guys think about that? Is that a good strategy when it comes to real estate that I go work hard, save up my money, buy the house, but if I need a mortgage, I go up and pay that. I go pay extra money a month time for up and pay that. Wow, good question. It, <laughs> it, it, is, it is based on your strategy and your goals that you have because everybody has different type of individual goals, right? Now, from an investment perspective, I think it's okay to pay it off. Because, Why? Because, <laughs> you should have seen her face, Ryan. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm looking at her. I wish I was missing stick there. I'm looking at her. I'm looking away. I'm looking away. I'm looking away. <laughs> And let me tell you why I believe so. Because when you're borrowing again, the bank look at your, look at your income and debt ratio, right? Yes. When you have a free title, you can also you're more attractive to the bank because you know attractive how, all attractive all in terms of your asset base and your income as it relates to the debt that you have. So if you have a thirty million dollar property free of title. And you're going to borrow um, another thirty yeah. million dollars to buy another property. You don't even need to borrow under thirty million dollar title because they already see you as attractive because you own a free title. So they're going to put that mortgage on that property that you're purchasing, and you still have that free title. All that free title does, you know, is make you look more attractive. But what we're saying, Ryan, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, no ask him. No Nisha. mortgage, none at all. They don't want a mortgage for no title. They don't have five hours. Yeah. No mortgage. I don't want nobody nothing coming. I don't want nobody to come talk to me. My things are my things, and nobody can take it. Yeah, all right, Keisha, but... so here's the thing. I can't wrap my head around that. Because for me, how much money am I earning so that I can afford that to pay off mortgages? That's the Ryan. Did that man ask? Because... Oh, we're gonna have multiple 30 millions. No, it I get it. Saying mortgage rates are lower than what you get from investment. Mortgage is good debt. Take the 30 million, invest it. It's set up here after mortgage. Take it and invest the money. Where does that to Marlene Taylor? Okay. She have any so she, oh <laughs> la, la, hi, hi Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, mortgage is good debt. I'm not saying don't pay it off, right? But if you look at the uh, uh, if you look at the the, the 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 tenure of the mortgage, you're really paying for the property six times if you don't pay it off. You understand? So it just depends on the strategy. You can pay on the principles. For example, Jamaica National allows you to pay like two payments on the principal per year. You don't have to pay a large lump sum, right? But the mortgage, the, the, the period can finish a lot quicker. So now you have a free title when you go to the bank you know they look at your assets what do you have and how much income do you earn when you show them that you have six titles or one title free it <laughs> makes you look more attractive to the bank and they're not going to you're the bank but yeah go back go borrow that's what i'm gonna yeah, get so you're going back to borrow so yeah so why would you want so to you're still like, yeah you're, you're still gonna yeah you're still gonna borrow but you do have a free title if anything, yes, but okay, but, but why team. why not why not have somebody pay your mortgage payment for you? Meaning, right? other people money. The dolly way. Why can't we follow the dolly way? Why we and can't follow that? So, in other words, what you should be doing is identifying a good investment property that can cover the mortgage. Yes. Yeah. All about that. And that's why you know a good valuator who can show you some deals, right? No, but but. But what about the pro but, but every property is not going to be an investment property, right? And you're going to live somewhere. 
What about that? Part? Yeah, yes, yeah. so and we're not talking about your host. The host, is, the host is fine. Like, I, I can actually understand no. that for the host. I, I get that. Like for me Why? personally, no, no, look no, here, look here, no, look here. Look no here. I get it. I, I can understand. The teacher have to ring the bell. Okay, I hear you, but I understand. I, under, he should, I hear you, but I understand. I understand why there may be a different consideration for the host, especially no, if you're an employed another. person. You don't work for yourself. You don't determine how much money you're bringing, or if you have a side hustle, that side hustle can't equate to what your salary pays. I get it, but I think though it can't. Be, I think you need to have a mix. That's that's my view. So all right, Michael, Michael separate it then. The host where you're living. Now. Mm -hmm. Should you have a mortgage on the house where you're living at? No, I don't think so. If you have Some the ability to pay it off, if you have the, the ability to pay it off, I would say no, so. I, so much I, would, I would keep a small, a a small mortgage on it. But I'd still keep it oh, mortgage. People, oh, oh. Because oh. the thing is, you know, circumstances can change. And you will always have that mortgage. And now remember, the duty, the tenure of that mortgage, you're paying for that property three times. If you look yeah. at it, I would rather be home yeah. and all I have to do is pay my light and my water. I don't have to worry about the mortgage. But where I get the 30 million? Hey, hey, where thank get you. the 30 million? Yeah. Where are we going to get the 30 million? Where are we going to get the 30 million? Uh -huh. yeah, so we have the mortgage. Like, can afford it. Make where where I get the thirty million though. Well, notice I say if you can afford it, you know, you understand. But you can make investments that give you returns, right? And then you... and take the investment money and, and chomp it on the mortgage. Uh... Are you home that not not earning? Can not earn? So you can lie down in your couch and say, wait a minute, what about it? nothing? Yeah, wait not the money. You're broke. You're broken in your coach. No, he's asset rich. That's what he is. Just asset rich. And cash pull. Cash mm -hmm. pull. You're not nothing. Yeah. I get I get where you're coming from. I get where you're coming from. So over IG, uh, over IG is blowing up. IG is like Ryan and sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and sweat. And then some people are saying, oh, I agree with Ryan. And then if you if you're fiscally responsible. Go for it. Yeah, but how are you getting the money? How you <laughs> that is some serious yeah, money I that you can that. use it to be paying up mortgages. The thing is, circumstances can change at any point in time. And Agreed. You want yeah. to have Agreed. that depends on you, and 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 you're 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 in a different situation. So my thing is to pay it up and have that clear, have that title, and then you can Go borrow. So you are saying, all right, but also me living up. No mortgage. Uh, any car can play and we, need, we can't be homeless. So at least I'm old, but for my investment properties, I'm going to borrow money for that. Mm -hmm. I would say that. that that's your personal way. Where, where you think, Trisha? I think I I would have a smaller mortgage on the house because, because anything can happen. Um, so it's... Uh, you know, my, my problem has been trying to figure out, you know, what the strategy would be because I'm mindful of the fact that, well, if I can't pay the mortgage and I won't have a house <laughs> and it's all well and good to be, you know, investing in investment properties, but I need somewhere to live and I need to be able to afford where I'm living. Right. So I, mm -hmm. I think it's, my thing is a mix, but I don't know that, like, I still don't know what the number, the magic number is. I know so I can't the, same. Pay up the mortgages for sure. Yeah, no, they would trip I walk around with that 30 million. I kill this 30 million for those drops over there from my heart. So <laughs> boy the same paying off the mortgage earlier may be a bad idea if it is inclusive of property insurance. I'm guessing boy the same if you pay off the mortgage, a lot of people when them house don't have no mortgage, they don't get any property insurance because mm. the mortgage was requiring you to get the property insurance in the first week. So you say, all right, banana mortgage, they don't care, man. I have to pay that. But then what happens, Boyd, you know, bad idea for true because you're going to have the house, it's paid off. Yeah. yeah. Then bury it come, blow off your roof, and then broke, broke her because now you also don't have a roof. And I'm, I'm guessing that impacts the value, Ryan, houses with roof. Well, do <laughs> <laughs> well, the reality of it, you do have a lot of people that 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 have the title cleared, and they get insurance. 
it doesn't stop you from getting the insurance. Yeah, no, agreed. But I also remember though, you know, like if you take it from NHT, NHT um has built in property insurance. So I know a number of people who would even when it was, you know, it's you no know, a couple hundred dollars because they've had the mortgage for so long, they say, Well, at least you don't have to worry about property insurance because the NHT loan builds that into the into into the debt. But you're still paying for it anyway. In the mortgage. You're still paying yes, for but it. you're paying less and less because it's NHC concessionary rates. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you really more allergic. <laughs> but what about those who are who are who are not using NHD? And it's still built yeah. in the mortgage. Yeah, you know so what, what I mean? you, so, at the end of the day, you have to determine how, how you know how strong you feel about having property insurance. Right. My thing is, I'm with the Dalits. I have a lot of lots of mortgages. My mortgage <laughs> out because we believe in enough. More enough house, more enough money, more enough things. We grow poor and we never have nothing. We not, we never have nothing. It's triggering when I have poor moments, right? We can't afford the Perrier or the good, we, we, we get nervous. So for me, I'm going to use as much of other people's money as possible in a responsible way though. So I pay the mortgage, every property I own, I can make money off of it. Even the primary residence, it have a piece where I can rent it. Every single property can be say more and enough money. So for me, my strategy is using a lot of leverage. I'm going to use the leverage on the house I live in, become the most piece I rent out, but I rent there, I have to pay the mortgage. I will always have a mortgage. Always. If the old, if even after 30 years when the mortgage pay off, may I go back for one more. I have a lot of other people money. That's how much. <laughs> so when my first one, when I bought my first, I think 29, so 30 years from that, may I go back? May I go right back and knock on the door and say, hey, me again, I have some of your money. Because you going to use your money to keep building rent. Building wealth. Now, so I talk about rent. Cause Marlene bring up an interesting point. She said, "Why am I not buying rent? We said I buy a house. Maybe huh? that better. Cause the, the, the home ownership come with wholly property." Marlene Taylor. She's saying, "Look here. I wish I rented it because you know the whole home ownership come with a wholly for money. Pitting it suck out your money. So that's a whole other side of it too. You know, you may say, well, me no one buying the money from nobody." I prefer to be debt free. I'll just stay over here and pay my rent. I'll just pay my little rent and keep it moving. No. Marlene, you see Ryan and not? He's like, Thank Marlene, you. no. Come on. No, Marlene. No. Marlene, you know, just, just no worry. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> um, no. All no, right. Marlene, no. No, Marlene. Um, Marlene. So, look here. Renting makes sense sometimes, though. It depends on your circumstance. Let me let me say that. It depends on your circumstance. Um, if you're looking to build wealth, um, it is always good to buy. Why I say that is because property values generally go up. Yeah? And you want mm -hmm. equity. Remember again, when you go to the banks, they're going to look at your value. You ever watch these, these, um, these shows about the wealthy and the rich and the famous, and they say, oh... Puff Daddy's net oh, not Puff Daddy. Um, um, Jay Z's net value. <laughs> Jay Z's net value is this and that, and they put all of their assets together. Then that that is really how it is. So your real estate helps to determine your value as an individual, based on how oh, outside look at you. So you really want to invest and own these properties, and they appreciate in value. Um, for you, I want to tell you this too. Even companies right they should really be buying properties and investing and a lot of them do because what when they're gonna sell their companies or sell their shares they can't just sell their companies based on the the, the services that it provided them it needs some sort of oomph to create the value of the the, comp the, the company which would be these values of these properties going up you get what i'm saying so the, the, the fact that property values go up it's going to make you yourself become more attractive and more valuable. You get what I'm saying? Yeah.